Today we're going to be looking at multiplying tens, hundreds, and thousands. So let's look at this first question. Each car on a train has 200 seats. How many seats are on a train with eight cars? Find eight times 200. So the question that we're trying to answer is how many seats are on a train with eight cars? If each train, each car on a train has 200 seats, and the multiplication that we're going to use is 8 times 200. So basically what we're doing to solve for this is looking at our basic facts, which would be 8 times 2. And we're going to say that is 16 because it is. And then we're underlining the zeros, and we have two of them. And we have answered the question, how many seats are on a train with eight cars? 16 or 1,600. Let's try another example. Let's look at this one. Mr. King's surf shop rents 4,000 surfboards each month. How many surfboards does he rent in six months? So the question that we're trying to answer is how many surfboards in six months does he rent? So we know that Mr. King rents 4,000 each month for six months. So our multiplication sentence would be four, six, I'm sorry, times 4,000. And again, we're going to look at our basic facts. Six times four, that's going to be 24. Underline the zeros to make sure we put the proper amount. We need three of them. 24,000 surfboards in six months. That's a lot of surfboards. Okay, let's try some more example. Now we're going to look at patterns. So we're going to be completing patterns. Two times five is where we're going to start, and that's a basic fact or product will be ten. And so we're going to look at our basic facts. Two times five, we know that's ten. Underline that zero to make sure that we put the right amount, so that will be one hundred. 2 times 5 here, basic fact of 10, underline the zeros, and this time we need 2. We need to be careful when we're looking at problems like this one, for example, the 2 times 5, because the 10 already contains its own zero, so we definitely want to be careful with that and make sure that we are putting the proper amount of zeros within the problem. So boxing them in and underlining the zeros, boxing in the basic facts and underlining the zeros will make sure that we stay on track. So we have 2 times 5 is 10, and then we can see that we need three more zeros. 1, 2, 3. That would be in addition to the zero that it was already in the number 10. So that would be 10,000. Let's try a few more examples. 3 times 8 is 24. So we're looking at our basic facts of 3 times 8. That gives us 24. We have one zero. The product will now be 240. 3 times 8 again is 24. We have two zeros this time, so we need to put those on. Now our product is 2,400. Then when we get down to 3 times 8,000, 3 times 8 is 24. Once again, this time we have three zeros, and then we're going to put those in. We have 24,000 as our product. Okay. I want you to try this next one on your own. So pause the video and work on this one. Okay, let's see how you did. We have the basic facts of four times five. This is another one that already contains its own zero in the product. 20 already has a zero, so we wanna be careful with that. Four times five is 20. We need one more zero for a product of 200. Four times 500, four times five is 20. We have two zeros here, and our product is going to be 2,000. 4 times 5,000, our basic facts, 4 times 5 is 20. We need three zeros, 1, 2, 3. And now we have a product of 20,000. So check your work and see how you did. Pretty straightforward with this. Shouldn't have too much trouble. Let's move on to another example. Let's look at this unlock the problem. Mrs. Jackson's Fun and Sun Shop rents beach chairs. 
The store rented 300 beach chairs each month in April and in May. The store rented 600 beach chairs each month from June through September. How many beach chairs did the store rent during the six months? Lots of information jam-packed into this problem. So we're going to pay attention to the question that we are trying to answer. This is the question that we are trying to answer. This is what we're trying to get to. How many beach chairs did the store rent during the six months? Next, we're going to figure out what information do we need in order to answer the question. So we need to pay attention to the information that's listed. So we have 300 beach chairs for the months of April and May. Then we have 600 beach chairs for the months of June through September. So this is the information that we are going to be looking at to solve this problem. <clears throat> so we have 300 beach chairs in April and May, 600 beach chairs in Ju June, July, August, and September. Because look up here, June through September. So we have to account for all of those months. Now we need to decide what operation or operations we will use to solve this problem. So if I know that I am looking at 300 beach chairs for two months, 600 beach chairs for these four months, I am going to have to multiply in order to figure out the total for the months of April and May, and then multiply to find the total for the months of June, July, and August. I also need to do an additional operation as well when I'm trying to solve for this and I'm going to add those two totals of those two products together. So I'm going to use multiplication and addition to solve this problem. So I need to show the work that I am going to do in order to solve. So if I'm looking at 300 beach chairs for April and May, that is going to say two months times 300 and we look at our basic facts 2 times 3 is 6 and we have two zeros okay so that part is going to be 600 and that takes care of this piece 300 beach chairs for the two months April and May now I need to come down here and look at these months one two three four months so now I'm going to say 4 times 600 to figure out these four months here. So basic facts, 6 times 4 is 24, and I have two zeros, so I have 2,400, and that takes care of this part. Now I need to add together these six months, four months here plus two months, that gives me the, a total of six months because that is the question that I'm solving for. So if I add these two products together, I'm going to be able to determine how many beach chairs the store rented during the six months. And now I can answer the question that the store rented 3,000 beach chairs during the six months, okay? I want you to remember to do your whisk and make sure that you leave me a note on that moto that says, Ms. Clemens, I have watched the video.